once in every generation or two, there comes a chef that is so impactful that they fundamentally reconceive and change the way that we think about food. August Escoffier was that person in his era. Paul Bocuse was that kind of person starting in the 1960s. And in the modern era, that chef is our honored guest today. And I will turn it over to Chef Ferran Adria. Vamos a verlo. Y vamos a ver que es transparente. Take a look at the water. Huh? You are going to see it's transparent. You can see through perfectly well. Hay poquísimos productos que son transparentes. It's not many products that you can see through, like you can see through water. Si coges los libros de la Nouvelle Cuisine francesa, if you go to the, all the books of the Nouvelle Cuisine, the French uh, Nouvelle Cuisine, y veis una receta, igual you will see Cuisine. one recipe here and maybe one recipe there using virgin olive oil. Y así iríamos subiendo. And he will keep going up, uh, ver, getting cada, closer to the cada cosa que veis aquí, And everything you see there, es lo que se ha hecho para construir un lenguaje nuevo. It, it's uh, all the things he's been doing that he's been slowly and through the years building what he calls a new culinary language. La, que la gastronomía es otra cosa. Gastronomy is something else. Es placer. Uh, gastronomy is all about pleasure, about enjoyment. Volvemos a lo mismo, mezclarlo. To mix. Es peligroso. It's no good business. Tenemos que apoyar a los pequeños productos. He feels the avant-garde movement, all the top restaurants around the world, they need to be supporting the que small producers really going into this organic. Que hagan buen producto. Porque ser buen cocinero no es tan difícil. It's not so hard to be a good cook. Es una cuestión de, de práctica. It's a matter of practice. Y de cariño. And of affection. Hay cosas que están bien hechas y mal hechas en la cocina. There are things that are well done or poorly done in the kitchen. Si no, es lo que nos enseñan aquí en la, en la escuela. He says, he hopes nosotros. you agree with that because that is why you're in school. ¿Cómo hay que comerlos? How do you eat shellfish? Poco hechos con su gusto o muy hechos sin nada de gusto. Should you eat them while they are still largely intact and filled with flavor? No. So we take a little bit of tin foil, sí. make a thimble, sí, sí, sí. and squeeze. Y hacíamos... Right. Yeah. So they strain, mix in olive oil. Le ponemos muy sencillo, sal, un poquito de, si hay con mucho limón. And with a little lemon juice created a vinaigrette that is the essence of okay. shrimp and crayfish. Lo veis, ¿no? ¿Cómo se hacía una crema? How do you make a cream? De espárragos. Asparagus cream. We're going to do it the old-fashioned way. Si me, lo haríamos nada, muy poco tiempo. Just blanch them for a few seconds. Y un jugo de espárragos. And we're going to make asparagus juice. Piensa que todo es muy complicado. They think everything we do is very complicated. La gente es complicado. People are complicated. <laughs> Pero no es complicado, es pura lógica. There's nothing complicated here, it's strict hoy, logic. Hoy lo haríamos igual, ¿eh? Today we would do it the same way. O sea, ¿Cuántas clases de tomates hay? You know how many kinds of tomatoes there are? Dos mil. Two thousand. And I asked myself, why do we always throw the seeds away? Let's do what Oriol is doing instead. ¿Y qué descubrimos? And what did we discover? The best tomato gelatin that you could ever wish for. Lo que era un defecto. So what used to be considered a waste product. Lo convertimos en una virtud. We turned into a, a beautiful new ingredient. Un día, en el personal, hice, hice, hice esto. I was clearing the top of the cauliflower. Digo, si esto es couscous. <laughs> And he said, wow, this is like couscous. So <coughs> I, I took what used to be waste product and put it in the thermomix. So one of the ways in which we create new dishes es lo de dialogar con el producto que he dicho, ¿no? Is really a dialogue with products. Voy a mirar lo poco lo poco que ha sido, ¿eh? So muy poco. Look at what has come from that. This ¿Eh? very fine almost cauliflower powder. Esto lo que se hace es se blanquea en agua, blanched in the water, para que no sea tan fuerte y después la, tra la tratas como un couscous. Haces lo que te dé la gana. You treat it exactly as you would couscous. Otra, otra de las cosas que hicimos, One of the other things we did was new kinds of uh, sauces or... Y empezó con el mango. And it began with mango. ¿Eh? Largos, tal, y tagliatelles. So we made mango tagliatelle essentially, ¿Eh? starting with these ingredients. 
Cut them fine. This is a dish from 1995. Pero todo esto, esto que hicimos dobladillo, hicimos do, doblemos. When ¿vale? we used to fold these into shapes. Nos abrió un mundo. It opened up a new world. Que fue el de las nuevas pastas y nuevos raviolis. A world of new pastas and new kinds of ravioli. ¿Eh? Si quieres caramelizar un huevo poché, ¿cómo lo haces? But how are you going to caramelize a poached egg? Cuando pones el huevo en el azúcar, vamos. If you put the egg in the melted sugar, that's the end of the egg. Caramelo. So we're going to use caramel. So you can do this with a salamander or with a blowtorch. So this is a snack. It's a okay. quail egg yolk caramelized with a little nutmeg and pepper. Tema tabú durante muchos años. Oh, now to a taboo topic for many years. Las espumas. Foams. <laughs> Siempre tiene que reposar los sifones, eh? En frío o en caliente. So you always have to let the chiffons rest before you actually foam them. So this is uh, egg whites and sugar only. And we could make an Italian meringue as well. Meringue. Meringue. Now we're going to do some magical things. It took us four years to move from cold foams to warm or hot foams. Bueno, aquí tenemos la mayonesa. This is the mayonnaise. De, si la hacemos, ¿vale? En frío. There la, it is, cold. La conseguiríamos muy ligera, ¿ok? It's very light. Primero empezamos así, claro, lo normal, ¿no? Right, this is just regular cotton candy. Porque en un restaurante era raro esto. And in a restaurant you seldom saw this. Le pusimos una hoja de menta. And we put a mint leaf on it. Y, la damos, y era rarísimo. La gente, ah, la gente And people pensaba. were astonished. Cuando hemos comido pequeñito. ¿Vale? We decided lo que no hay que hacer. Y lo convertimos en un papel. And we turned it into paper. Ahora Oriol va a hacer un papel de flores. And now we're going to make some flower paper. Una cosa, era una cosa muy bonita, muy, muy emocionante. Something exciting and beautiful. Era, eran flores muy pequeñas y, y Tiny flowers. llegaba en el comedor con un papel muy bonito oh, yeah, de este, yeah, de, 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 como japonés. So we would bring dishes to the dining room with a beautiful, fine Japanese paper. Y abría y había un papel de flores que se comía. And when people opened up the paper, inside was edible flower paper that we'd made with the cotton candy. Un día vimos algo que miles de personas sabían. So one day we noticed something that thousands of people know. Pero nadie, nadie se, lo había, se lo había planteado. But nobody had really thought about it carefully. Que el agar agar, that agar agar, la gelatina que se utiliza en Asia desde hace mil años, the same gelatin that's been used for a thousand years, no se funde hasta los 80 grados does not melt at 60 degrees. Un líquido con agar agar se utiliza ya desde hace mil años. This is a thousand year old technique of melting agar agar no in water. Instead y of making a thick layer, we make a very fine layer. Y con esto layer. hacemos pasta de consomé. And we make a sort of pasta out of broth and agar agar. Esto nació muy sencillo. Es decir, después de las espumas, after the foams, queríamos una textura más ligera. We wanted something even lighter to work with. Esto es zumo, eso, ¿no? This is carrot juice. Oh, only carrot juice. Right. Entonces, ¿qué sucede? What is happening? Que los, dos, los, tres, primer, los tres primeros productos que licuamos salió. The, one of the three first products that we tried this on worked beautifully. Okay, es la textura, la textura más ligera después de la, del aire. Claro. This was the texture we were looking for, a texture lighter than air. Es el perfume en un plato. It's really more perfume Muy than bien. solid. Ella se la verificación o qué? Venga, ¿eh? Vamos a hacer la verificación y acabamos. All right, so Una. we're going to do this verification Solo para, as the finale. Solo para, para explicar la famosa verificación. Just to give you a sense of the famous verification approach. Sí. Este, este sí que es el verdadero icono. ¿Sí? Oh, this, this is absolutely the centerpiece of molecular gastronomy. Esto es yogur, this is no? yogurt. Con un poco de agua. With a little bit of water. Que no esté muy espeso. Make sure it's not too thick. Y esto es agua. This is water. Con el alginato. With alginate. Sí. Con gelat un alginato es un gelificante. An alginate is a gelifying agent. Si como si fuera hoja de gelatina. Entonces pasa como si fuera un huevo frito. 
So you do this like a fried egg. Lo malo es claro, como, como no lo has visto nunca, cuando no lo has visto nunca, dices, oh. If you've never seen a fried egg before, you're amazed. En all, toda. All cooking involves chemical and physical toda. reactions. All cooking. Vale. Y si de esto está líquido de dentro. Liquid inside, solid outside. Es una outside. maravilla. It's a marvel. Cuando lo comes, una sensación única. It's a unique sensation when you put it in your mouth. Se pueden hacer cosas maravillosas. You can do marvelous things with it. O un desastre. Or disastrous things with it. Depende del cocinero. It depends on the chef. <laughs> pues espero que sobre todo os la hayáis pasado bien. I hope you have enjoyed porque, spending time with us. Porque sobre todo en la cocina. Above all in the kitchen. Es felicidad. It's about happiness in the end. Y tiene que ser felicidad. There has to be about happiness. Para pasarlo bien. To enjoy it. Para pasar buenos momentos. To enjoy some good time together. Y también cuando se habla de cocina. When you speak about cuisine. También hay que pasarlo, ¿no? Pasar buenos momentos. You speak of it with joy and happiness. Y sobre todo hoy cuando salgáis. When you leave here today. Explicar a todo el mundo. Tell everyone. Que habéis visto la verdadera cocina molecular. That you have seen real molecular cuisine at work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.